and we're just north of um, Zanigorsk, all kitted up. Yeah. Oh, oh! Where are you? Uh, I'm currently hunting Falcon's Killers in uh, Komarovo. Yeah, he literally, he wa someone walked out of a building. Oh, I just punched the shit out of death. somebody and I died. <laughs> <laughs> he had a fucking fire axe. I'm dead. I want to drop this case, but it's like it's fucking glued to my hand. Yeah, just don't don't Hello peeps, it's Falcon again, this time with Daisy Standalone and a little first look. So far, I'm pretty impressed. They've they've managed to achieve what they set out to achieve for the first release. It's running very, very smooth. Uh, it's, for me anyway, it's running very stable. It's looking a lot nicer than the Modern Armor 2 ever did look. Uh, this isn't on the full settings I'm running it at, but it looks very nice. Also, it's running at a very reasonable frame rate. Obviously, I've not got into any big gunfights at the moment. Uh, there's only 40 players per server. Play with a bat. Is he leaving? Is he leaving? Yeah, yeah. We should have. I've got. I picked up that little bag up. Walk dude, away. Here, walk so. away. Yeah, walk away, dude. We've got a gun. Mac, are you are you with us now, Sam? I'm with Septic. But we managed to get some friends together and run around the new Cherneris Plus and see the new sights, see the new gear, and there's a lot of cool-looking stuff. So much detail has been put into the gear. Every piece of equipment that you find will be the highest quality. Of course, all the usual Daisy things still still stick in the game from the mod. Obviously, the basic survival, looking out for friendly fire. But you might have missed something, so it's worth checking out. A zombie following us, by the way. I'm not even going to bother recording this stuff. It's not going to do well on my channel. I'm just going to play. It's going to enjoy the game. Hit me as well. Yeah, that hit me. Wow. <laughs> Not the most exciting example there, but yeah, yeah you get the idea. Oh. I accidentally shot my friend as he ran in front of me and I tried to shoot a zombie there. But then we move on to playing around with the handcuffs, seeing how they work. So we handcuff uh, Blue here, just for a laugh, see what it does. <laughs> you call this running? You call this running? It's the Oh my god, it's so hard yeah, to turn. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, run. Right. Only manages to break out after a while. I see it. Come in, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, he's waving at me. Then we try out some of the communication commands. So we wave at friendlies, let them know we are friendly or we are their friend waiting for them in a position. Go for a drink down at the local lake. Water Took a while also to learn how to survive using the hunger and thirst system. Uh, you get the messages in the bottom left corner saying you are thirsty and they get gradually worse as time goes on without having a drink and the same for hunger. Um, you must drink and eat to survive, you do start losing blood. But yeah, as long as you keep on top of that and you keep it so you stay healthy, uh, it's also indicated in the inventory if you press tab and uh, next to the player model in the center it will say whether you're thirsty or hungry. So you can sort that out and make sure your character is at full health. Hey, it's funny because he said Daisy. Yeah. As in Daisy. Uh -huh. Exactly. In it, Daisy pal. humor. Uh -huh. in it, pal. Travelling around and seeing other players, I have not seen two players looking the same. And this is at this early stage, first release, which is a pretty impressive feat. Doors are open. Oh, who's this? There's a player! It's oh! Oh. <laughs> the guy with a motorbike helmet, is that you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> also, I just like, this door's already open, there's somebody here looting it. It's not that shit that just came out of there. Yeah. It's all down my leg. Oh, there's going to be a lot more items added at a later date. So I'm really looking forward to what comes in the future. A lot more stuff for customizations. again. Well, actually, now I don't need to do that, but I'll just go in anyway and ran into the fucking supermarket. I got popped in the back of the head by a guy. Obviously, you still got your your other little bugs there. Sometimes the animations do detach. So, if, for uh, instance, if you're eating or drinking, sometimes the can will be floating on the tips of your fingers rather than in your hand. Sometimes they'll be perfectly placed. But these things are expected in Alpha. Majority of the game is very playable. Zombies definitely are not 100%, but that was not their focus for the initial release. <laughs> Good stuff. First person, it looks brilliant. Just like, fuck you. Let's have a look in first person. <laughs> Where are you? Hang on, you've left me. I've come back into the game and you're all fucked up. Oh, we're camouflaged. <laughs> we're literally Three, prone two, right in one. front of you, man. 
Come and find us, Matthew. In front of me? Yeah. Well, no, right in front I of you, we're on the hill. I will <laughs> get a more in-depth look at this in the next coming weeks when I've uh, got some more play into it. Hopefully get into a bit of a bigger gunfight than this. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Hey. Who killed you? Uh, some guy in uh, Camarovo, fully geared. Okay, that's not too far from us. Is there anything uh, for me in to... the town? But one other thing I do like is how yeah. quick the respawns are. Yes, that was a real-time load from the moment I died to me uh, pressing escape, which was what took so long, to uh, pressing respawn, and then boom, I'm back in. On crew I cap. Now it's time to re-equip all my gear, get back to the guys, and carry on looting and surviving in the wild. Your one, just a different colour. After respawning, I've got colour. I was actually nearly dead. So for my first impressions, I am very impressed. Lots of detail. I'm going to go over a lot more things in my next video, and then start posting any of the adventures that we do go on and stuff happens. Of course, using Shadow Place, so I will never miss anything that does happen. I hope you peeps enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. I was just going to go in a building and try and find some food. Okay, Matt, we've got a uh, an objective. Let's go. I've got I've got a rotten kiwi. Don't eat it. You'll die. I drop it. I drop it. There's a spade out here if you want it. Oh, is that a good this weapon? A, well, no, but it's a form of defence for the time being. Okay, that happened quick. I see him. I've got some canned sardines that we're picking up. Can sardines. Yeah, canned sardines is yeah. I've got that. Can I use a spade as a weapon? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. Where and where are you? Sorry, I've got the front door. Where are you? Yeah, I'm I do like right. uh, I do like trying to right, uh, yeah. gearing up wrong again. Wrong side, wrong side. Good fun. Oh yeah. <coughs> it is fun. That's a weapon, is it? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm moving out towards the tree line. I don't trust it.